guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to take a look at this Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, this is a sub EZA who is dropping at the same time as the main EZA, um, AGL Metal Cooler. And then, of course, Piccolo and Super Saiyan Vegeta are also getting sub EZAs here. Vegeta, of course, is part of the main uh, Dokkan Fest LR for Part 2, right? Now, this Vegeta, I think, like Piccolo, is actually going to be solid um in some you know like game stages that are not actually like red zone and stuff like that right um that that level is going to be a bit above like what vegeta and piccolo are doing but like piccolo is going to be good i think more geared towards world tournament but he'll be good for super battle road too i think vegeta here is going to be quite solid in super battle road stages so vegeta has a pretty good super attack effect here um he gets 50 percent defense supreme damage and then a high chance to stun i have used this vegeta quite a bit um i believe i did try him out in the recent vegeta family extreme super battle road stage as well um and that of course was basically just like don't let him get hit right but the stun is so impressive that vegeta family extreme super battle road stage which of course vegeta this vegeta is on the vegeta family team that stage hits so hard a lot of bosses in there can actually do damage to lr vegeta and trunks right so just outright stunning the enemies keeping them from attacking you is a really viable strat so i think that this vegeta can help out in some instances like that maybe he could have used more stats might have been a bit better for him but we'll see uh link set is the sort of a typical vegeta lineup of links here uh golden warrior super saiyan prodigies saiyan pride royal lineage prepare for battle and fierce battle i believe it's the same as uh Dokkan fest super vegeta now one big thing with vegeta here we have most of our links active except for prodigies and prepare for battle um this vegeta is getting 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn uh and a 20 percent chance to crit then he gets another 50% attack and defense and 20% chance to crit if there's a movie hero category ally attacking in the same turn, which we do have right here with this Gohan. Um, oh, oh, and one other thing I should mention, this Vegeta actually does have a 200% uh, team. He actually has several. He's on the Resurrection F Blues, he's on Majin Vegeta's, and then of course he's also on Carnival LR Goku's 200% team. So this Vegeta has three 200% teams. Piccolo and Metal Cooler don't have one, right, as of right now. Although Piccolo will definitely get one from the uh, superhero stuff, and Metal Cooler will certainly get one from LR Metal Cooler, right? Um, all right, but let's go ahead and see what Vegeta does. Um, this Vegeta does get a lot of additional buffs, uh, depending upon what our HP is. He gets another two key, 50% attack and defense, um, and 30% chance to crit when HP is 80% or less. All right, so we're at, what was that, 4.5 right there? Okay. With the 50% chance to stun as well. Um, and then finally, Vegeta gets two key, 50% attack and 30% chance to crit if HP is 50% or less. So the way this Vegeta is going to work here is... If you're under 50% HP, which, dude, in turn one, we damn near are. But if you're under 50% HP, um, Vegeta is actually going to have a guaranteed crit. Um, which I think is pretty good, right? Like, think of it in, like, Super Battle Road or something like that. That sort of guaranteed crit and then, you know, the chance for the stun could be very effective, right? What if Vegeta, you know, you super attack, guaranteed crit, kill an enemy... Then he additional supers and stuns the other enemy, right? This Vegeta could single-handedly win you a Super Battle Road Sage. Um, Super Battle Road Sages are certainly not as tough as a lot of other content right now. Um, but it's not like they're completely 100% free. Alright, so we'd have, what, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle Active. I always forget that this goddamn Goten... I, this, I'll never understand this. This is the Gifted Warrior support type unit, right? He, he's, this is support for the Gifted Warrior category team. And the little bastard doesn't have the Prodigies link. Very bizarre. Okay. Well, this is a very good turn for Vegeta right here, right? Um, I am actually going to pop a King Yama right here. This this movie hero support Gohan is not going to be built for this. Okay, so we... Are, I believe, not under 50%, right? I, I think we are just a shade above 50%. So I think that this is Vegeta actually without his full buffs. I think we could still get another 50% attack um, if we were under 50%, which I, I believe we were not right there. 
Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see uh, what damage we get from this Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, again, sort of like damage and stunning is going to be what this Vegeta is going to be meant to do, right? 5.24 he gets up to right there. Okay. Uh, and again, that's with most of his buffs. I, I believe we were just a shade above 50% uh, HP right there, which is fine. Because on this next turn, uh, we will easily get above 50%. Uh, so let me do this. I guess I'll just have uh, Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta finish this off. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so yeah, on this next turn, um, we should see a pretty good performance um, from our Super Saiyan Vegeta right here. Again, you know, it, it is unfortunate. It, a lot of people want, like, all these EZAs and stuff like that to just go ahead and, like, you know, all right, I'm going to take the Metal Cooler Movie Piccolo and we're going to beat these Red Zone Stage and stuff like that, but... I mean, especially with, you know, the actual statement by Dokkan, right, on how they're trying to, like, you know, make certain characters good for certain types of content. Um, this Vegeta, like, he does make sense the way he's designed. I think we'll float off this Gohan right here, and we'll see what uh, Vegeta looks like without um, a, whatchamacallit, a movie hero unit on rotation as well. All right, so what are we at right here? 256. Again, remember, he's getting 50% uh, from his super attack effect. Yeah, I think full additionals is the way you want to build this guy for sure, all right? Um, double chances to super attack, right? Which is double chances to stun, double increased defense as well. Um, and if, you know, your health is really low in Super Battle Road, which will be a common thing, um, he's going to be doing nearly guaranteed crits. I mean, he's at, what, 70% uh, chance to crit, just under 80% HP with a movie hero cat category ally on the team? I mean, that's pretty good right all right so let's see what we do right here this will probably be the best rotation of the video probably um what what it, in terms of links the only thing we don't have active here is saiyan pride which is 20 percent attack so i mean that is a, a sizable amount of extra damage right here but i believe this will be the best turn we'll see from vegeta in the video so let's go ahead and see what he does in terms of his uh damage 6.21 but it's not just 6.21, it's a guaranteed crit, right? So it's like he's actually hitting, like, above that level, right? So not bad, not bad. I, I think that this Vegeta is fine. Um, he'll be a very solid option for some Super Battle Road stages. Um, so, I, again, I, I actually don't really have an issue um, with the level that we're seeing from this Vegeta. I think I think it's fine. The Vegeta and the Piccolo, to me, are completely A-OK. -okay. I have no issue with how they're built. Um, I feel like... I like Metal Cooler. You know, Metal Cooler's good. They certainly could make the easy ATURs, I think, slightly better. They don't want, you know, these four-year-old Dokkan Fests to go in and just be cream pieing, you know, Red Zone Broly and Cell Max and stuff like that, sure. But I do think some of them could be made to be a bit more consistent or just a little bit stronger overall. Um, although Metal Cooler, of course, is uh, very solid for sure. Okay, so let's see what we get right here. So this is Vegeta. We have all seven links activated. We don't have um, another movie hero ally, though. Notice the drop in Vegeta's defense, too. Um, without the movie hero category ally around. Of course, this Vegeta is not giving defensive support the way the movie hero Gohan was, right? But all right, let's go and see what we do right here. Uh, we'll probably make this the last turn. So, let me know what you guys think of this uh, Metal Cooler movie sub-EZA Super Saiyan Vegeta, but I, I think he is fairly strong. Um, I feel like the three sub-EZAs we've gotten in this celebration, Tech Final Form Cooler, this Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta, um, and then, of course, also the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the STR Piccolo, I, I think that they're all pretty solid. I could see all three of these characters helping, you know, players out in certain types of content. Um, you know, it is interesting to see how, you know, these sub-EZAs, these are just like, you know, banner units and stuff like that that have released years ago, can actually be a factor for some content stages, right? So, uh, let me know what you guys think of this EZA Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, I think he should perform pretty well, again, mainly in Battlefield and Super Battle Road. Uh, Global still does have to get um, the newer Dokkan Battlefield uh, set of stages, where mostly ceiling is what you want to do, but you can stun in some stages, and then that can be very effective as well, right? So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.